Hello students. In this video, I would like to bring all of the polyatomic ions that we need to know for this class together in one master list. Here we go. The basic 16 that we have to memorize are on this page in the appendix. Key polyatomic ions to know. Memorize these 16 polyatomic ions. So the ions that are on this list are the ones we have to memorize. So I'm going to write those down. To these 16 that you have to memorize, there are three more ions that we're going to add, and they are the ITE derivatives of nitrate, sulfate, and phosphate, which appear on the above list. And that gives us nitrite, NO2, with a minus charge. Oops. Sulfite, SO3, with a 2 minus charge, sulfite. And of course, phosphite, PO3, with a 3 minus charge. They're ITE derivatives of nitrate, sulfate, and phosphate because they have one less oxygen than each of those ions. So that's 16 and 3 is 19 so far. To that list, we're going to add 11 more. And I'm going to draw a table of 12 here, but one of these 12 you have already learned, chlorate. So although I'm going to draw 12 here, you're really learning 11 more. And they are the oxyanion derivatives and I should say of chlorine, bromine, and iodine. So there's a little typo there. It needs this phrase added of chlorine, bromine, and iodine, oxyanion derivatives of those three elements. So if we start with ClO3, that's chlorate. That's the one we already know. Then we go one additional oxygen and one less oxygen and two less oxygens. And of course this is perchlorate. R-A-T-E. Chlorate. Chlorite. and hypochlorite. So these are the oxyanion derivatives of chlorine. And we're going to do the exact same thing for bromine and for iodine. So we have BrO3 with a minus charge is bromate. We have one oxygen more, one oxygen less, and two oxygens less. Per bromate, bromite,
and hypobromite. And then we extend the pattern to the oxyanion derivatives of iodine. IO3 with a minus charge is iodate. One oxygen more and one oxygen less and two oxygen less than the ATE anion. Per iodate, Iodite Hypoiodite So again, this is a table of 12 ions, but you already knew this one right here, the chlorate. So you're just adding 11 more to the list. So we had 16 plus 3 is 19 plus 11 is 30. And now we're going to add four more for our total of 34. These last four that you need to know for this class are the hydrogen-containing derivatives of certain oxyanions. So the hydrogen-containing derivative of sulfate is the hydrogen sulfate ion, HSO4, with a minus charge. The hydrogen-containing derivative of carbonate is HCO3 with a minus charge, hydrogen carbonate. And the other two oxyanion derivatives are derivatives of the phosphate ion. So we have the one that has a single hydrogen in it. HPO4 with a two minus charge, hydrogen phosphate. And we have the oxyanion derivative of phosphate that has two hydrogens in it. H2PO4 minus, and this is called dihydrogen. Phosphate. So notice, again, that these sometimes are mistaken for acids because they have hydrogens in them. But these are not acids. These are polyatomic ions that happen to have hydrogen in the ion. And so with these four, that brings the total up to 34.